G'day folks, it's time to end the day with a little bit of skinny water Murray cod fishing. Jeez, that was a big fish. Now the water looks very dark at the moment, it looks black, it is black, it's like ink. But that's not cause for concern, we hear a lot about fish kills in black water. This is black water, but it's not black water. Black water is a term used to describe hypoxic water, water which is low in oxygen. There's plenty of oxygen in this water, well I suspect there is, there's no dead fish. But it's just very, very tannin stained thanks to recent heat and wind blowing leaves into the water which leach tannins out and make the water go really dark. So that's black water, but it's not black water. I think the water's actually a little bit clearer than it looks. It looks like you can only see a few inches into the water. But when I was uh, walking down here, I stood next to a bit where the sun was shining on the water, and you can actually see probably 30 centimetres or more into the water. Plenty enough for a hungry Murray Cod to see a lure. They don't just see it, they feel it with their lateral line. They know when it's there. There's a lot of crap washed up down there. Got him! That one certainly saw my lure. That didn't take long. I've been here all of about five casts. How am I going to do this? You know, I ain't climbing down there. You know, I often tell people I'm wetting my hands and it's good to wet your hands to look after the fish's health. But a fish isn't worth dying for. So I'm going to have to just uh, lift and hope. And if he gets off, that's probably a good thing for the fish. Alright, come on buddy. There we go, look at that. I've been here probably not even five minutes. I'm on the board. Lovely little Murray Cod. See you later, mate. Oh, head first. Beautiful. Rightio. Fish number one is on the board on what is becoming, or what is most likely my favourite Murray Cod lure and that is the bright green old mate lure. I love this lure. I'll put a link in the video description below to where you can find them. Now let's keep fishing and see if I can catch another one. Nice looking spot over there. Coming up over a log. What the hell? If a tree falls in the forest, did anybody hear it? It's a tree, tree falling. Well, I put my line in the Murray Cod hole. The Murray Cod said, ah, that guy's lure's tangled. Got him! Yeah. I was miles away when that fish hit then. So I can wet me handy, so I will. Let's lift him up, I think. Little cod number two. See you later, mate. Take your time. I oh, know that's two on the board. When that hit, I was miles away because I was just thinking, I wonder how deep he is. I wonder if I can wade out and cast up to the head of that tree, and which is what I'm doing now. But this is what I was thinking when the fish hit. Whoa, oh, so boggy under my feet here. Rightio, for my top water session, I'm going to use or at least start with this eye loud, one ounce eye loud. Just bring that in right along the front of all that crap. <laughs> the 
Sort of them cicadas. I love surface fishing when there's lots of cicadas around. Those are the sort of places where bait caster reels are better than spinning reels. Got him! Oh, come on, mate. Come on, it's not a monster. I think it's bigger than the other two. About the same. Ah, top water cod. I was just about to say that these are the sort of places where bait caster reels are better than spinning reels because you can keep the trajectory of the lure low under the branches. Spinning reels do work for cod fishing, they work very well, but they're harder to cast into those tight places. He's actually smaller than the other two. Are we going to do this, mate? Yeah, we're going to do this. What have you done? Here we go. Here we go. I won't worry about a photo because my camera's, my phone's in my bag about 20 metres downstream, but hungry little fella. Cod number three, first topwater cod, be gone. He is gone. My glasses are drenched. <laughs> right, he has three on the board. Now, as I was saying before, when that fish rudely interrupted me, one of the advantages of using a bait caster over a spinning reel is that you can cast it low and flat like that and get it right over. It's very hard to cast a spinning reel like that. Some people can't. I certainly can't. I think they usually put their finger on their spool to keep their yeah, tension on the line. But you can do it consistently with a bait caster like that. Whereas you probably couldn't do it that consistently with a spinning reel unless you're uh, much more talented than I am. Oh, that's a little buff. And again, got him. Oh, he felt the weight. I felt the weight. He's not a very big fish. After he hit it, you'll notice I stopped retrieving it. I just let it sit there. He could even still be under it now, but I doubt it. After the first buff, I let it just sit there, and after a couple of seconds, he came and hit it a second time. Another really small one. Oh, he hit it again! That's three buffs. It's a tiny fish. Tiny fish, but big excitement. Got him! It's actually bigger than the last one. <laughs> it's actually the biggest one tonight, I think. <laughs> I'll get a photo of this one. I'm back in my bag at the moment. He was uh, playing hardball, but I got him in the end. Where's my bag and my phone? Oh, this is muddy. Come on, mate. Come on, buddy. How'd you get? Gone. You didn't get to see the release because I held him in the water like that and he, he done a bit of a flip and took off before I even started filming. Anyway, he gone. Four on the board. I reckon there's got to be a cod sitting under there. Oh, you're right there. Just when I'm expecting a buff of stupid cockatoo just to be talking out off. Got him! Oh, I missed him. I was looking over there. I was looking over there, <laughs> trying to work out where I'm going to place my next cast. Just remember, folks, there's black water and there's black water. There's nothing wrong with this black water. All the gear that I've used tonight, I will put links in the video description so you can find it online, if I can find it online. And thank you all very much for watching.